let's get it unboxed. What's going on everybody and welcome back as you guys saw from that intro i am the rhino we have the spider-man retro marvel legends rhino figure this is really cool this is the first time we're getting a rhino figure in over seven years the last one was the build a figure unfortunately i don't have the build a figure to do the comparison with but however i'm familiar with it so at least we can discuss it when reviewing this while it's out of the box so with that being said let me get this in the box, in the light box that is. We'll look at the package, we'll look at the figure, we'll look at the articulation, and then a special visitor might be stopping by to uh, join the Rhino. So let's go. All right, guys, and here you go. Here is your look at the Rhino packaging. Obviously, they got that really cool retro Spider-Man packaging. Obviously, if you remember from a fan as a kid, when you had the old Toy Biz line, Really cool packaging. I like it a lot. Again, going back to what I was saying before, it's a shame that this is probably going to be the last style of the window packaging, obviously, because Hasbro is moving towards using cardboard uh, packaging instead of plastic. So this is what we're stuck with. But unfortunately, we can, you know, what are we going to do? So we can at least enjoy this while we still have it. So as you guys can see right there, you got that really cool picture of the Rhino on the side. It says Rampaging Rhino, which is really cool. Also, we got that awesome Marvel Comics and Spider-Man logo going across the top. On the back side, we've got more of the uh, wave that is part of this. So you've got the Spider-Man Armor Mark One, Hammerhead, the Symbiote Spider-Man, Ben Riley Spider-Man, the Shocker, and Hobgoblin. But then we also get a little bit of a quick story on the back of the card from Rhino. It says, former Russian Mafia Muscle, the Rhino possesses immense strength, near impenetrable exo armor, and a stubborn grudge against Spider-Man. Well, which any of the villains doesn't have a grudge against Spider-Man? I'm just saying. So, all right guys, pretty cool packaging. Let's go ahead and let's get this out of the box. Guys, and here are the accessories that come with it out of the box. Um, obviously, we got a left and a right open hand on the figure itself. There's two closed fists, but as you guys can see, which is really cool, they did a really good job of painting the fingernails. So, really cool. And again, you can see some of the texturing of the rhino skin right there, which is really, really cool. I'm digging that a lot. I like how they worked that little bit of texture in there, which is really cool. And obviously you can see like a little bit of the knuckles right there, which is great. So obviously, like I said, a left and a right hand of that. Also, we got this really badass extra portrait that came with it. I love this, turning this to the side and seeing that rhino eye right there. I just think that is really cool. Again, you guys could see all the texturing and everything, and you could see even the the, yeah, I guess if you want to call it like the, I don't know if you want to call it weathering, but just the aging of the rhino horn itself. You can see some of the cracks on it and everything. It looks like it's definitely seen its use, obviously, with him wearing this suit. But really, really cool portrait. I like this, too. You can see his eyes are done very well. Um, the, this, uh, I guess, the chin. Everything lines up. Everything looks like it belongs where it's supposed to. Um, the, again, the paint on this looks great. And again, I love the texturing of the rhino look that they uh, that they gave to it and i just think the eyes on the side are just a really cool feature for that so all right so obviously not much in the way of accessories so let's go ahead now and look at the figure guys and here is the figure again does not disappoint really cool again as it comes with the uh, the texturing of the suit um the portrait is really really cool he's got that evil grin menacing look on his face again going back to the texture the horn the paint everything on this just looks absolutely fantastic we've also got like some maybe like some spots on here which is really great again the texturing on this is fantastic i love this figure this figure is just freaking awesome so guys fun fact this they actually reused the mold from the original rhino build a figure that was seven years ago the only difference is is that there were shoulder pads on that one and there isn't on this one and the gray paint on this is actually a lot lighter than the original one because the original one was a little darker like i said unfortunately i don't have that build a figure for comparison but this is what we're going to have to make do with for now just by me talking about it maybe i'll add a picture in here or two
so you guys can understand but overall again i like the paint on this i like the portraits again the horn looks awesome again you got the rhino eye on the side which is great and you guys could see all the points of articulation on this which is really great and again the texturing and everything is just fantastic so as far as the articulation goes um the arm goes up yay high um it has single jointed elbow you guys can see there's a little bit of pivoting right there in the wrist um as far as the head goes the head does go side to side a little bit but not a whole lot um as far as it goes that's as far down as it goes that's about as high up as it goes there's not much articulation with the head uh torso crunch there's a lot obviously but it doesn't go back at all this is as far forward as it goes um the legs only go back yay far because obviously it's blocked right here uh the knees are also single jointed um the foot does have pivoting to it left and and right and up and down which is great and then obviously we have the a little bit of a waist a waist turn right there you guys can see but other than that this is a pretty badass figure so like i said guys i do have a special guest figure that's going to be joining us for this review so let me go ahead and get him and i'll be back in a sec all right guys and there is our special guest black symbiote spider-man yay so as you guys know i have this huge photo booth right here that i do my reviews in it is very awesome that my street scene diorama um that i had custom built a while some time ago is able to fit in here so we can have also kind of like do a, like a little quick uh you know review also inside with the street scene diorama which is really cool so obviously i have put spider-man in there so you guys can see for size comparison about how much bigger um rhino is than uh spider-man so as you guys can see rhino's a lot taller a lot wider obviously more muscular because he's a bigger character than spider-man but still really cool i like this a lot um i'm gonna go ahead and do a quick couple of uh, poses and throw some uh pictures in here and do a quick slideshow and then i'll give you guys my final thoughts guys so final thoughts dope ass figure highly suggest it also if you did miss out on the build a figure one seven years ago and you don't want to go back and spend that money to get the build a figure or to reacquire whatever parts you're missing highly suggest picking this up definitely does the job i actually prefer this one a lot better over the build a figure one because i like the coloring better i like the the texture on the suit i don't like those big bulky shoulder pads that were on the build a figure one so i think this one is much better suited for your marvel legends collection and uh yeah guys so if you guys like what you saw please be sure to give a thumbs up if you're new please be sure to subscribe as always be sure to hit that bell so you get notified every time another figure review gets uploaded for your viewing pleasure as always you can check out all the excellent content we always offer right here at mce and until next time guys that's what's popping <laughs>